Hi students and welcome back to my class and you're here at Missy TV. For today's video, we're going to discuss about multiplying radicals. Okay, for example, we have to simplify each product. So for number 1, we have the square root of 2 times the square root of 5. So just simply uh, multiply the radicand and also the numerical coefficient. So this will become okay, the square root of... 2 times 5 is 10. Since square root of 10 is not a perfect square, so our answer in number 1 is square root of 10. Okay? In number 2, we have the square root of 7 times the square root of 3. So again, let's have the square root symbol here. And then just multiply the radicand, so which is 7 times 3, so that is 21. Since 21 is not a perfect square, so our answer in number 2 is square root of 21. Next, in number 3, we have the square root of 11x times the square root of 2x. So again, we have the radical symbol. Next is just to multiply the radicand. So we have 11x times 2x, so that is 22x squared. Okay, so 22 is not a perfect square, but x squared is a perfect square. So this will become square root of 22, okay, times square root of x squared, since x squared is a perfect square. So we will get the square root of x squared, so that is x, okay, and then square, uh, 22 is not a perfect square, so we have this square root of 22. So, our answer is x square root of 22. For number 4, we have square root of 5a times square root of 3b. So, we have again the radical symbol. Next, we multiply the radicand. 5a times 3b is 15ab. Since we don't have perfect square here, so the final answer in number 4 is square root of 15ab. In number 5, we have 4 uh, square root of 2 times 3 square root of 3. So here, what we're going to do is just to multiply the numerical coefficients and also the radicand. So we have 4 times 3 is 12. Okay, so that is our numerical coefficients. Next, okay, the square root of 2 times 3 is 6. Okay, since 6 is not a perfect square, so, our final answer in number 5 is 12 square root of 6. Alright, so for number 6, we have negative 4 square root of 2 times 3 square root of 11. So, again, for the numerical coefficient, just multiply. Negative 4 times 3 is negative 12. And also, multiply the radicand. So, 2 times 11 is 22. Since 22 is not a perfect square, so our answer in number 6 is negative 12 square root of 22. In number 7, we have the negative square root of 13x times 5 uh, square root of 2y. So again, let's multiply the numerical coefficients. So this is negative 1 times 5 is negative 5. Okay, so we have here 13x times 2y is 26xy. So our answer in number 7 is negative 5, square root of 26xy. For number 8, okay, so they don't have the numerical coefficients, but they have the radicand. So just multiply the radicand 3 times 12, so we have 36. But 36 is a perfect square. So, we need to simplify this. Square root of 36 is positive negative 6. So, this would be the answer in number 8. So, that's how we end our lesson for today. If you have more questions, so please comment down below. And don't forget to subscribe on my channel. Bye-bye!